Hello students, welcome to our biology class today. My name is Modika Yudoke. Infectious diseases contribute greatly towards the poor health of people in developing countries. To move towards better health, we have to control disease-causing microorganisms and their animal vectors. Hence, our topic today is Towards Better Health. Lesson Objectives At the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe some ways by which disease-causing microorganisms and infectious diseases can be controlled. List ways of protecting ourselves from disease caused by microorganisms spread by vectors. State the roles the individual should play to ensure good health. Let's begin by discussing how we can control harmful microorganisms. Microorganisms which cause ill health could be controlled by the following methods. 1. High temperature. High temperature kills bacteria and their spores. So it is good to cook food with fire, boil and filter drinking water to kill germs. 2. Antibiotics. Antibiotics are used to kill germs, example, ampiclox and ampicillin. 3. Antiseptics. These are chemicals that kill or prevent the multiplication of microorganisms, example, detol, chlorine water, and medicated soap. 4. High salinity or salting. Salt is used to preserve food. When salt is applied to food items like fresh fish or meat, the microorganisms are destroyed. 5. Dehydration. When foodstuffs such as meat and fish are dried, microorganisms cannot thrive on them. Bacteria need water to survive. Infectious diseases can also be controlled by isolation. Isolation of infected person helps to control the spread of the microorganism. By immunization or vaccination, this involves giving members of the public injections which serve as immunity against the deadly disease. Personal hygiene. Keeping the body clean prevents them from entering the body. General cleanliness. Keeping our homes and environment clean. Use of refrigeration or freezing. The activities of microorganisms are reduced to the barest minimum at low temperature. Vectors. Vectors are animals that transmit disease-causing microorganisms. The most important vectors of disease are insects and rodents. Insect vectors include mosquitoes, sesame flies, lice, and fleas. Common rodent vectors include rats and mice. Let's discuss how these vectors can be controlled. Mosquitoes. Environmental method aimed at destroying the breeding and resting places. Chemical method includes use of insecticides which kill the various stages of mosquitoes. Biological method use of predators to reduce the population. Example, mosquito eating fishes like the guppies are introduced into ponds to feed on larvae and pupae. Control of house flies. Environmental method is aimed at destroying their breeding places, example, burning all garbage. Chemical method, use of insecticides to kill maggots and the adult flies. Netting, fitting the doors and windows of houses with wire netting. Physical attack, example, using brooms to kill house flies. Control of rats, environmental method aimed at destroying their resting places and preventing them from getting food. Chemical method involves the use of rat poisons. Biological method. Here, cat, the natural predator of rats, may also be used to catch rats. Methods used in disposal of refuge and sewage in order to keep our environment clean and be free from these disease-causing microorganisms. First, method used in disposal of refuge. 1. Burning. Dry refuge is usually burnt in incinerator. 2. Burying. Refuge is put into pits and covered with layers of earth. Refuge can also be dumped 
which is the third method, dumping. It has to do with collecting refuse and carrying them far into the sea or bush where it is dumped. Usually a site is chosen for this. Method used in disposal of sewage include the direct disposal method, example pit latrine. Here, a hole is dug in the ground about 3 meters deep and 1 meter wide. The opening is always covered when not in use. 2. The conservative method, example the bucket latrine. Here, feces and urine are passed into a bucket. This is usually emptied into a pit and bucket is replaced. This is not very hygienic. 3. Water carriage system. In this system, feces and urine deposited in a water closet are flushed with clean water from system to a septic tank or sewers. As individuals, we have roles to play in order to keep ourselves protected from diseases. These roles are Keep yourself and your things clean. Wash your hands before eating and after using toilet. Keep food covered. Boy drinking water. Wear shoes outside the house. Stay away from people with infectious diseases. Sleep under mosquito net if there are mosquitoes in your area. Keep the house and surroundings clean. Maintain and improve your health by 1. Eating a balanced diet doing regular exercise, three, resting the body through recreational activities and sleep, four, avoiding bad habits like excessive smoking, alcohol drinking and drug addiction, five, being vaccinated against disease, and six, doing work suited for our mental and physical abilities so that we do not have to break down. There are some national and international health organizations that have been set up to care for the health of people. National health organizations include National Health Service, focusing on providing health and medical care for the nation. Public Health Authority ensures that public places such as market, play, grounds are clean for public use. Nigerian Red Cross Society provides first aid, nursing, and welfare services. Then we have the Akanu Ibian Nigerian National Ambulance and St. John's Ambulance. These are voluntary organizations providing first aid and welfare services. Then three international health organizations are the UNICEF, FAO, and WHO. UNICEF helps developing countries to carry out long-range health nutrition and welfare programs for their children. FAO helps to raise living standards and improve the production of all food and agricultural products. WHO aims to improve the health of people in all nations. It promotes measures for the control of world's major diseases. What have you learned? 1. To move towards better health, we have to control disease-causing microorganisms and their animal vectors. Two. As individuals, we have roles to play to ensure good health, namely practicing good hygiene habits and maintaining good health. 3. There are some national and international organizations involved in caring for the health of people in various nations. Exercise 1. List some vectors of microorganisms. 2. State the roles individuals should play to ensure good health. And 3. Mention four national and international organizations describing their area of work. Send your answers and comments to the email that displays on the screen. I hope you enjoyed today's class. Thank you for listening. <laughs>